Welcome back, everyone, to the weekend edition. Woo. Finally, another episode. This fucking frame is so bad. Is it? it? Look at how much roof you can see in this. Yeah, it's a lot of headroom. Can you want to yeah. fix it while I intro this shit? Yeah, Spock's tall enough. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> We're fucking with the camera because I'm so bad at setting it up. I, I thought can't. I was going to get it, but I just keep entertaining. And Noel is the only person that can fucking do this. Okay, so uh, I know I haven't done a weekend edition in a long time, and I'm sorry about that, but now we're back, and I have uh, Noel here again, because my fucking booking agent just oh, oh. keeps getting Noel, and my buddy oh. Spock, DJ world famous extraordinaire mm. Spock. What's Gucci? Dude, I don't know. Dragon <laughs> dildos and fucking... Yeah, what were you just talking about? Dragon dildos. No, dildos pull, pull those back up. Pull, pull those back, back up. up. Yeah. So what is a dragon dildo? Can you um, explain? Well, the only one I've seen is huge and purple. Oh my god, dude! Yeah. Oh, they're actually like dragon dicks. They're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be. Uh, okay, this one's the chode. <laughs> egg plug. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, that's like a straight up like museum piece. Holy shit! Yo, ho- that's uh, th- you know this is this is uh, if someone did this, they could actually just steal the real one. <laughs> like they could go to France and shove that million dollar porcelain egg inside their body. <laughs> And escort it out. It's like the and thing switch from it Indiana with, yeah. Jones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> switch it with the dragon dildo. This one is actually just called demon dick. Jesus fucking Christ. That's what I call mine too. What kind um, of a fetish is that? Um, yeah, I like, I you know, my turn on is the devil. So I like to think I'm fucking the devil. Satan. What's oh, what's another good one in here? Bumble hooves? What is no. that? Ooh. Looks like Man, a, this, is weird. this is creeping me out. Can not we, really. Can we move on from Yo, this? Last one. This one's called Stan. Yo, yep. this looks like a fucking that just looks like a human dick right there, but just way like more muscle yeah. on it. This one has steroids. <laughs> Whoa, looks cool. like no, well, looks I like... didn't know they put your dick in there too. <laughs> that looks like Terry <laughs> Cruz's dick. Yeah. <laughs> Every just NFL player cock. That dick has abs. Yeah. It's got Damn. like shoulders. The one next to it has like traps on the head. It, ha- it has traps on you the head. Like, you go to your personal trainer and you're like, yeah, I want to look like uh, uh, this, this dick, <laughs> but like I want to. <laughs> What's going to get me here? Yeah. This is my goal physique. Um, the thing is, oh, yeah. Now I have both ears. Sorry about that. Just so everyone can follow along. It's like a it's like a read along. Um, Bad Dragon Enterprises. Wow. Yo, shout out Bad Dragon. So if you want to see what we're talking about, go to Bad Dragon. Just Google them, I guess. Search Demon Dick, whatever you want to do, and you can see what dildos we're talking about. Yeah. Um, Should we review one more? No, dude. They have a shitload. This it's is been, we've been talking about dragon dicks for three uh, this minutes. This podcast is sponsored by uh, <laughs> Bad Dragon. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, this is pretty. This is actually, this is actually so a convenient funny. time to uh, announce my first ad: <laughs> BadDragon.com. <laughs> These are. Um, Impressive. Oh, they have flashlights? Holy oh, shit. Oh, we're... S- <laughs> hey, bro. That's... I, I've said this before on the podcast, but when flashlights send me the free flashlights, yeah. one of them was a uh, Avatar-themed flashlight. No. Had, no had, way. It had How two, was that one? It had two... It was... I mean, it obviously turned me on the <laughs> yeah. most, but um, I actually have used it so much I don't get turned on by humans anymore. Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But it has there. two clits, and it's bright blue. That's... Damn. That's yeah. two? Yeah, so I won't fuck Double anything pleasure, anymore yeah. without two clits. That's yeah. too much to manage. Yo, this is a <laughs> snakehead. Can't even find too much, one. Too I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one is... Too much to manage. One is... I got a tough enough time dealing with the one. <laughs> one on a human. Yeah, two? even if I find it. Yeah. Two on an alien. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do you do? You fucking yeah. DJing with both hands. <laughs> Yo, this is a snakehead. Who wants to fuck a snake? What oh, a dude. sheath, Whoa. a wearable? No. And now we're talking. Whoa. Oh, oh, so you put that on yeah. and then you fuck yeah. Noel's mom. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, what's up? What's up? How's it going? Uh, you know. Uh, I'm unemployed now. Yeah. I know. So let's, are we talking about that? Yeah, we can. Okay. What's, how's, how's your Hold life? Hold on. Been? I have this prepared statement after okay. I've been laid off. <laughs> Full screen is a wonder. Uh, my life is great. By the way, I saw I saw the PR chick at full screen yeah. just for everyone listening for uh, Noel got fired, got laid off. Laid sorry, off. Yeah. laid off. Laid so off. Um, yeah. he got fired. And like a week <laughs> after I was in the full screen offices cause I got rehired by full screen for a week <sighs> and uh, I was there. No, I mean, that's not, yeah. you know, I'm not saying that to be a dick. No, I'm just, you know, no. it's funny. Yeah. You know, yeah, totally funny. I get rehired. Yeah. Right after, after you get fired. Yeah. Anyways, but that's, that's, <laughs> 
<laughs> neither here nor there. Neither here so nor I'm there. in there and she's, I see the PR chick. Noel wanted to do like a sketch about getting fired. And it's mm-hmm. in his last vlog. If you've seen that. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so I'm in the full screen offices and he, he called that. What did you email? Yeah. I emailed them. Emailed her the PR chick at full screen to make sure yeah, that it was, it was all it was good. Kosher. And so I saw her and she was like, wait, you're Cody, right? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, you're Noel's friend. Like, yeah. He, well, he wants to do this sketch apparently about how he got laid off. And I was like, I'm sure it'll be fine. And she's like, well, I hope so too. And then, and then you posted it and I saw her afterwards again. And she like gave me this face and I was like, did you see it? And she was like, I saw it. And I was like, pretty funny. Right. And she was like, it was pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, I fucking told you. Yeah. She, what, what are they worried about? No, I mean, it, it was a good, it was a good thing. Now I can, I can focus. What are you doing now? A lot of jerking off? A lot of jerking off. No, yeah. actually. Um, vlogging, which is uh, borderline. It's a little. It's like know. jerking yourself. It's basically, it's jerking, basically yourself jerking yourself off. off. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of jerking myself yeah. off. Yeah. And uh, just trying to get money again. Right. Right. I don't know how serious we want to be about this, but yeah, I'm. You I'm can be ser- you can be serious. But let yeah. the people know what it's like to be laid off. Laid off. Um, in this case, great because the severance is fucking awesome. Okay, so it'll <laughs> it'll cover me for a bit, and then I'll be struggling. Okay, yeah. but no, nah, I mean it's enough time to like. I, I feel like I've always been. I said this in the video, but like half in, half out, and it's just nice to be all in. Like, yeah, no bullshit. I know. Yeah, yeah. going two full clits in. Two full clits yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Both hand, mm. one hand. I got one hand on the clit. Yeah, and, and one hand on, on the, the other clit. Yeah, and that's what you do full time. You do music, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. How's that going? It's tight. It's it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get uh, into that? How did you get into music? Well, in high school, I was just like. I heard the Skrillex and I was like, dude, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. Not joke, like, yeah. Like uh, pretty much. Yeah. Just like what's, oh, how old are you by the way? 22. Yeah. You're young Jesus. as fuck. Yes. Jesus Christ. Me too, man. Cheers. Dude. Sick. Yeah. Cause I was just thinking like when I heard Skrillex for the first time, it was probably right when you heard it for the first time. Cause you were yeah. probably in high school. Yeah. I was, I was in college. Probably 16. Yeah. And oh, college. Yeah. I heard it and I was like, dude, this is tight. I want to, I want to do this. Yeah. And, then I, and then I did it. So it's cool. <laughs> and uh, now we're here. <laughs> Is that when you actually like started learn, like, yeah. learning how to do well, music? <clears throat> well, no, I, I, uh, I had played like guitar and drums and shit and I was super into like heavy metal. Okay. And then I heard Skrillex and I was like, whoa. Well, and like me and my friends would like jam in my garage, like, you know, playing heavy metal covers and shit. But it, it's like, and I always wanted to be in a band and everything since I was a kid. But like that wasn't really going anywhere because no, we're no. two 16 year old yeah. kids playing Slayer covers in my garage. So <laughs> that's every then, 16 year old. Yeah. Dude. So I don't know. It that just that wasn't it. making you money or like <laughs> moving you forward in the industry. That's crazy. Well, no. Yeah. I, yeah it's, 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 as weird as it sounds. No. I, you, didn't, <laughs> you didn't have some agent just like walk by your garage one day and be like, wow. Wait, yeah. Jerry, that sound you've been looking for? Well, I right found it. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of Coletti's bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Back. No, I, uh, no, this one of my neighbors was like, I guess she told my mom like, yeah, is that your son playing drums in the garage on Tuesday afternoons or whatever? It's like, yeah. And she was like, he should teach my son, Jeremy. Uh, he should give him drum lessons. And I was just like, nah, nah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I was expecting I was going to be making a lot of money off of that. But yeah, you would have been caking off yeah. that. Yeah. Well, dude, I mean, as a 16 year old kid, yeah, I don't know. True, they actually. probably wouldn't have. I don't know. Any How much money, do you think they would have paid me? Any money is like good money at bucks. that point. Yeah, hundred bucks for yeah. yeah. Everyone, I should have done that. I would have been tight. Everyone, hundred bucks was like, wow. Yeah. This is. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you're 16, yeah. any money is just is holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> or unemployed. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> or that too. You know, when when any money shows up, I'm pretty much 16 again. Speaking of which. Contribute to Noel's Patreon. Yeah. It's really the only income he has after Truly. after his severance is over, <laughs> which is coming up. Don't think about yeah, that. I mean, I'm yeah. not like, you know, don't think no. about that. But it's coming up, but don't think about that. Yeah, no. I, um, uh, Patreon.com slash the Noel Miller. Yeah, please and contribute. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you like his shit. And yeah. if you don't, then, I mean, fuck off. <laughs> Why even here? <laughs> I thought what you were going to say with the drum thing is you're going to be like, is that your son playing drums at <laughs> noon on a Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, it is. Could you could you no, shut yeah, the fuck no. up? Could you just not <laughs> do that? One time, one time, me and my friend were were jamming in the garage, and we were just like, we just stopped, and my mom was gonna like give us a ride back to his house or whatever, 
and like the, a cop came in front of our house and was like, Hey, uh, you done making the noise? And oh, we were like, yeah, my God. yeah, we are. And I remember getting mad at the time, like, damn, what fucking neighbor like called what a dick, but <laughs> dude, it was so loud. It's like a playing like, <laughs> yeah. like a fucking band in your garage. Like it was so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's not I don't quiet. know how it didn't happen like more times than that. Cause that, it right. only happened once, but because you know, Fresno. Yeah, true. Fresno. Because Shout is that where Fresno. you're from? Yeah. Fresno. Yeah. What goes down in Fresno? Nothing. Uh, cops come when you play yeah. <laughs> music in your That's cloud. No, yeah. Cops have nothing better to do? There's no action in Fresno. No? No. no well, uh, kind of. I guess like there's some bad parts where there are. I've never been my whole life because yeah. I grew up in like a suburb of Fresno called Clovis. That's like. Oh, my. Well, big shout like out Clovis. White, yeah. It's like the whiter part of Fresno yeah. that like nothing ever happens yeah so yeah and, and then it, you when did you move out to la um just like thursday. two and a half thursday <laughs> thursday <laughs> no like afternoon <laughs> last thursday holy oh shit. it was on 420 i remember because no i moved yeah it was like I, I was gonna move around that time and i was like you know what i'm gonna make 420 my anniversary of living here that's sick so of 2015 so, so you fuck you blazed yeah did you yeah we're chew- all huge stoners uh, at the table did you chew down on a fat bone yeah 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 i yeah? sucked a fat cock that day no i, just, I mean <laughs> no, i was talking I about weed I, but. yeah that's oh right right yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Blew, blew down on a yeah. blew a penis sucked a peen yeah, yeah. dragon dick yeah. yeah smoked a dragon dick smoked yeah. a big old drago <laughs> anyways uh <laughs> Stupid. I'm gonna reach across here. Yeah, it's, uh, so, how do you like? So, so wait, wait, wait. What was like your first like DJ setup? Like, what was the first? You know. Um, By the way, before you say that, Spock is actually a famous DJ, world famous. World. world Would you call fame. yourself a world famous DJ? I don't know. I mean, I get comments like "come to Brazil." So there you go. Hey, hey, that you makes go. you world famous, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Um, and listen to his music on Spotify yeah. and SoundCloud. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keep going. Um, yeah. my first gig, Technique One Hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't. It was like CDJs. Some no, not it was before the CDJs, before I'd learned how to use those. So it was just like tractor on my computer with like a little Yeah. Or I think I used Ableton actually for like my first DJ gig because that's what Skrillex was using at the time. He used to use Ableton to DJ. So I did that and then it's it's like the dumbest you I don't know. (laughs) Using Ableton to DJ especially like five years ago and all I was doing is like pushing play yeah on a song and in, i don't know it's kind of lame yeah, yeah but and there was like two people i think my set time was at like five or six p.m and the doors it was right when the doors opened <laughs> but there was a problem so the doors didn't open until like 6 45 so, so i played my set <laughs> to no one for like 45 before minutes. before the doors were even open oh wow. my god yeah, it was <laughs> Wait, that's sad. that was your first gig yeah, ever. Yeah, you played a full I, set to yeah, nobody. I drove to, I don't, I think it was, I don't remember the town, but it was some, it was like Tulare or something, some town in the middle of nowhere, like an hour away from Fresno, and it was just like, it was bad. How did you even get the gig? Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think like some promoter guy like messaged me on Facebook and was like, "Hey, do you want to play our gig?" Like sell tickets and you can play it was one of those things oh yeah and i did that i did that for like a year or two before i realized like oh wait these people are just taking advantage of like 15 (laughs) 16 year old kids and getting them to sell tickets for them and then letting them open before the doors even open like for free fucked for free yeah okay yeah so fucked so like now anytime anybody asks me like hey how do i like start playing shows and shit i'm just like dude just don't do that like if you're going to play a show, that's fine. Even if you do it for free, that's fine. Just make sure it's not like if like, yeah, sell 20 tickets and you can play our show or whatever. Cause that shit's like, it's fucked. You're just taking advantage of little kids who don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's like what they do in comedy when you got to bring 10 yeah. people to get on stage for five minutes. Yeah. It's that. I mean, it's yeah. So lame. It's, yeah, comedy's it's, gotta be like even fucking worse it, than that shit. It's so yeah. bad you, because the problem is it's not, they're not, it's not kids. They're taking advantage of like a fully grown yeah, adults. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like, bring 30 people to the show and you can have two minutes of stage time. And you're like, yeah. I'll fucking take it. Yeah. I'll bring yeah. 50 people. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's kind of conflicting, though, because at the same time, it, I guess you are still playing a show. Yeah. So, like, maybe it helps. And maybe it helps you get more comfortable on stage. Or, yeah. Or, so, I don't know. It just it feels weird. 
Like I would never do that to somebody be like, hey, I don't know. It doesn't yeah. really help you that much, but I guess it could. Did you used to like actually sell tickets? Like you get your friends to buy tickets? My Yeah. So my friend. Would you buy a ticket to your own show? No, no. <laughs> my friend, like I brought him to my show last weekend down here too, which was cool because he's been like super supportive of me since like the very beginning. Shout out Jesse. And uh, he like, he would just be the dude. Like I wouldn't sell the tickets. He'd just be like, oh dude, like. I'm gonna sell tickets for you. Like he oh. would, he would like hype me up. So like I wasn't selling the tickets. He'd just be like, "Dude, yeah, like get a bunch of tickets. I'll sell them. Like I want to hype you up." Oh, so like that was cool. That's dope. Yeah, that's dope. But that's like, sick. yeah, yeah. So that that was cool. So I never, I I don't know. I was like 15. I I, I don't know. I probably like sold a good tickets. dude. Shout yeah. out Jesse. Shout dude, out he's Jesse, a good man. guy. He's yeah. yeah. Sounds like a super good guy. Yeah. And now you're fucking playing festivals. And yeah. Shit. It was now dope. You got, you got big room. You got yeah. big room. What's the most recent festival you played? Uh, it was last uh, Saturday, and it was Nocturnal Wonderland, San Bernardino. How was that? Yeah, it was tight. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, was that at the Nas Center? No, it was at. Uh, fuck, what's it called? They renamed. It's called like Glen Helen something, but it was called. Um, fuck, what's the the big amphitheater in San Bernardino? I don't know. But oh, I, um, no, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. it's, I don't know. I knew the name. It's They call it Glen Helen. Ooh, um, oh, it was San Manuel Amphitheater. Yes, That's what it was yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, fuck you. I knew it. Yeah, San Manuel. But that was cool. Just went out there and Did, killed it. Did your two thing. Two clits at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, when you do a show like that, when you do like a big festival, do you see like you're like, like numbers go up the next day from people that are like newly exposed to your music or anything? Yeah. Or do you like think that sometimes. everyone comes to your show, everyone that comes to the show knows who you are? No, I don't think so. Especially at like festival shows like that. Like people just come for, the, I mean, there's like 30 different acts or whatever playing, maybe more. So like they'll come for somebody totally different and end up hearing your set and being like, oh, cool. Like I like that. I'm going to go follow you. Yeah. So yeah, I do notice that like, uh, well, I had three different shows this this past weekend and like i went up probably like four or five hundred twitter followers in like a couple of days which is a lot for oh, for me so yeah. yeah yeah that's really just from playing that festival no it's for for three shows like oh, over the th over the oh, weekend because gotcha, gotcha, i played gotcha, three gotcha, different gotcha. Okay. shows but i mean yeah it's like i mean that's, that's cool yeah it says a lot because you you got to figure everyone's remotely fucked up so yeah for three days to, to lapse, remember and then they yeah. wake up they're like yo what the fuck yo that full spock that yeah. was sick dog yeah. and to look you up on twitter i know the that most was... the least normie platform i would say yeah mm, yeah i, I mean know. i mean yeah yes and no yes well, and yeah. no. yes and no. <laughs> no god yeah it is instagram's pretty i think instagram yeah, right. is more common yeah the, like if you talk to any just regular person. Yeah. They're like, I don't, why do you use Twitter? I don't understand. Yeah, that's true. Not, they don't get feedback. Like the jokes, all the time. Yeah. yeah. They don't fucking get the people like go on Instagram for comedy yeah. or I'm surprised, dude. I'm surprised that people like, especially old people aren't more like that with Instagram. Cause now like Instagram is so full of just shit. Like yeah. there's so many features yeah. and so much shit you can do. How does an old person pick up Instagram for the first time and be like, oh yeah, this is this, I, makes this is natural. This makes sense. There's like there's like circles, and squares, and fucking oh I, I can there's a there's a there's a paper airplane so I can send this to who yeah. my aunt Un and Oops. yeah oh send this to and Uncle it's, Jerry. Uh, it's ephemeral. I don't know what that means. Yeah, um, it just you know yeah you can post a picture here, you can post a picture there, but these pictures don't uh, coincide with these pictures. And yeah. yeah, Twitter's pretty self straightforward. I think. Yeah. yeah, it's like a forum. Yeah for hateful people <laughs> i always read these stories about how evil twitter used to be like two three years ago it makes me feel like i what was like out. bullying and shit not, not bullying but i guess like like funnier crazier shit went on on twitter like, like what who, who's the dude who uh he's like banned from the internet oh, oh Milo? uh no hunter yeah. moore no hunter moore yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's back on though the, the what? internet he's back on twitter is he really yeah I saw somebody retweeted him or something the other day. I saw he, he got back on Twitter like he, a couple weeks ago. He was the guy who like did the ex-girlfriend porn website yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. He was what in was like his... jail or something. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, th I thought he was like not allowed to get on the internet. Ever I again. thought, but th dude, how would they even like, I, I, I understand if you were like, you're not allowed to have a Twitter account or whatever, yeah. or like an account on, but like, dude, what if he's like, dude, I need to check my fucking bank like yeah. info online. How are they gonna like? No, I don't think it. Yeah, it's it was probably not yeah. It's probably like I don't know. You can't. 
you can't like start a mail or you can't you can't like start a new website yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah exactly can't. how would they ever stop him from buying a domain name under like a <sighs> different I don't name know. i don't know yeah. just like the like what jeff internet yeah called him up and was like hey man you're banned from <laughs> hey this dude listen bro get off it <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're done here like a fucking counter-strike server just got rid of him (laughs) banned be gone with you i feel like people like you ever seen slut whisperer you know what I'm talking uh, about? No. Kirill was here. No. Oh, that he's guy. He's the guy yeah, that does like yeah, the yeah. champagne shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the, kind of the same vein a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Is that kind of like tag your sponsor? N- no. You've not seen at that all. one? Yes, I've seen yeah. that. Yeah. I haven't, I, I don't know. I don't dive too yeah. much on the slut shaming stuff. Yeah, it's, it's not even shaming. It's just like he'll just like have parties. Like he gets paid by these clubs to go to them and have these parties where he hosts it and then he just like has yeah. girl, he's got the slut whisperer because he gets girls yeah it's like not slut shaming it's like it, we okay. want you to be a slut yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And and like take inverse. off their dresses and he'll just pour champagne all over them and take pictures of it and like that's he's that's his job he just gets yeah. paid to do that to go around north america and do that yeah. wow so Which is, would you say he's an international world 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 renowned slut whisperer yeah World famous? World famous. World famous. Slut whisperer. Slut whisperer. Yeah, world famous DJ. Yeah. World famous uh, unemployed person. Yeah. World famous internet bad boy. Yeah. Flamous. Um, yep. World famous. <laughs> world famous. Flaming true. hot, baby. That's true. <laughs> yeah, famous. World famous. You didn't write any notes today. What no. should we talk about? Well, I was one. I wanted to talk about music. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's Dude, like, tiny like what's it like to be a fucking in 2018? Yeah, and tiny meat gang. Take yeah. it over. 2017. Yeah. <clears throat> should we announce? I don't know. I was, I wanted to like, I wanted to like talk to you about like coming out with like a release date. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. For, right here, for right a little now? sum sum. I mean, we could talk about. Yeah, it right just now. do it. Just set it. Just do. Just that's set what I'm a saying. Date. If we set it, then we're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna. Like, I never let myself like yeah. fuck up a date. A date. Yeah. yeah. Usually, usually, I don't know. Mm. That's being said, I just posted my first YouTube video in almost three weeks. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't have. You weren't like, all right, every Wednesday and Friday, new videos. Yeah. Right. No, so you yeah. said every Wednesday, oh, Friday, you? Monday. New oh videos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't say that. Yeah. No, I didn't. Doesn't it say in your banner like? New videos every this. It used to. Oh, not anymore. No. Shit, took that shit right off, yeah. baby. You know what you, you know what I do? What? I leave the text up there and then I just never upload. So, <laughs> what yeah. does yours say? Uh new new video every week. <laughs> and we know that's a fucking line. No, because yeah. now you're going now, what are you doing now? Uh now I'm every Thursday, but I'm gonna try to up it this week. I'm trying to hit two to three a week. I think you Ooh. could do two to three a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you could. I uh was Thinking last night, well, I told you, that, I told you both this a little bit, but I grossly underestimated vlogging, like the amount of footage you need yeah. to get something funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it's like twenty minutes for one minute of funny. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. It's tough, man. I go back and watch my old ones, and I'm kind of like, like a lot of it. I'm like, this is fucking boring. Why did I, <laughs> Why did I think? And it was just because like I committed to the three times a week yeah. schedule, so yeah. it was like. Eventually, I was like, I just have to use this boring shit because yeah. the most important thing is getting something out. That's how actually what a lot of people say about starting YouTube is that they say like, don't miss your upload date, no matter what. If it's a mm. shitty video, it doesn't matter. You got to hit the, yeah. the date. Sounds right. Which is kind of, I don't know if I really agree with that. I think that's actually for people who have shitty content. I agree. Generally. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. I Like all these yeah. like little like hacks and tricks and Dude, I remember when I when I first like got on, I was posting videos on Vine and Instagram. I got in these like weird group messages with like shitty oh, yeah. comedians, and they had all this like weird advice about like times of the day and and if you like mine, I'll like yours back, and grab mine and grab yeah. yours for twenty four hours. I'm like, it seems like a lot of work, man, to yeah. just be funny. Yeah, I don't think you're doing it right. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people got sensitive because I just tell them like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> They yeah. like want to talk shit yeah. to me. Yeah. I'm not going to name him, but one of these popular, like, you know, baby, like one of those guys, like gave me a fucking earful about <laughs> n- not making it and consistency and like this and that. And what? Yeah. He like got in my fucking ass, like, because I just kind of sidebarred him. I'm like, wow. Cause he tried to put me in this group chat with him and these other people that like, we can exchange ideas and this and that. I was like, just kind of seems like you guys rip each other off. Like, I, I'm, I'm Dude, right. this is Twitter. I'm just going to tweet. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got like, I got enough ideas. I'm, yeah, I'm good, yes. man. I don't yeah. need any of your guys. Yeah, that's not fucking, the problem. Yeah. When Bay face IDs your phone. Oh, bro. But what if she, you know, what's really funny to me now is I was like going on some of those guys' pages and like they've clearly exhausted all their options. Yeah. So now they're in this weird phase where they're trying to write their own jokes and the videos come out. So they're not even, it's not even that they're not funny. They're fucking strange. 
It's like weird cable programming. Like there was this dude who used to do exclusively like jokes about like pouring whiskey on girls and shit like that. I went to his page. He's doing like weird like Game of Thrones type characters. It's like such a fucking far cry left from like baby cheating because <laughs> he just actually exhausted he's, he's literally out of ideas <laughs> he's out of bay, bay cheated yeah when bay goes through and, your phone yeah. jokes so now he's like just doing it all costumes <laughs> like it's a very strange place he's i hope he makes it out of there because it seems tough yeah. <laughs> it's a dark yeah it's i think <laughs> i think i want to do another fucking instagram comedian's video yeah? part two because it's two? it's yeah. it's literally gotten so much worse this is a lot of rape uh he, yeah, yeah bits yeah. now they, like they've amped it up like now it's like cheating and rape and it's really it's weird i yeah. want to see how far they can push it yeah so yeah that, that would be you should do it yeah just as like a even even like a fire under their ass to come up with even worse shit <laughs> so we can make another <laughs> yeah, video yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, just yeah. keep going yeah i don't know man people uh i saw some video of like lele pons and someone else on twitter she was like our nights be like and then it's like a video right and it's like her like giggling with her friend eating a bag of chips or something she looks fucking insane like it's like (laughs) she's like trying to post like a candid moment of her like laughing and being fun here's what it is she sneezes and her friend goes ew and she like laughs it off but the laugh is like (laughs) (laughs) that uh, yeah that was the joke i'm scared i was just staring at what's that one that's like the the one that went viral last week or a few weeks ago, and it's like when she doesn't have food, and it's like, yeah, and it's like when she does have food. Oh, it's right, like the, yeah, the dumbass <laughs> dance. Did you see that one? Yeah, no, it was on Twitter. It was yeah. like, it's like some chick. Yeah, it was she before food, after food, and then she's like dancing with a chicken nugget. I'm like, <laughs> never ever in my six years of dating has a chicken nugget solved an argument. Like, I've never <laughs> been there, and like. Alina's like upset about something. I'm like, hey, hey, listen, I know like these are your feelings, but hold it. McDonald's? Yeah. yeah that's yeah, so fucking like degrading yeah, to a, yeah. like yeah, a woman. Like, so hey, I know you like have your like opinions and, and feelings or whatever, whatever. but uh oh, look what daddy's got. Ooh. Little chicken nugget. And, and they just, just drop all <laughs> of that. <laughs> oh, food. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it comes with fucking a sweet and sour too. Yeah. Oh, you got it. You got it for me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'll never leave you. And the dance she does is oh, like it's, so dumb. It's a, the fucking like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what is, what does that look like when they come up with that idea? Where it's like, wait, a, wait a minute, you guys. Like what does there. everyone yeah. love? Ch- chicken nuggets. When Bay doesn't go through your phone first, but second, <laughs> chicken nuggets. So, so now get this. We're gonna take. Well, okay, this might be a little bit tough to to communicate, but like, like when you don't have chicken nuggets. What do you do, uh, right? You're, so, so you're not happy. Of, you're not happy. Right, not exactly. Great, then, great spot. Okay. Great. Love you're following along here. When you do have the chicken nug, mm-hmm. you're you're now you're happy. Happy. You got it. Oh, exactly. Right. But how would wait? Well, how would they know that you're happy though? Because oh, because the chicken no, 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 nug, the chicken question. nugget. You got to dance. Dancing. Oh, dance. Okay. Right. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. And then they're going to know. Then they'll know. Because you, you don't dance. You dance when you're happy. Yes. Yes. Bay yes. dances when, she, when Bay's when happy. When Bay is happy. You know, this conversation occurs between two <laughs> yeah, groups. Unfunny people and marketing people who are the same thing. You, you fucking, oh my God. Watching a room of marketing people discuss how to engage the internet. It's all... People in their mid thirties, like, oh well, you know the uh, the fidget things; those are good. <laughs> Maybe we do a thingy with one of those. You know, no, it's not even mid thirties. Yeah. It's young. It's young people that have that that think they understand it, <laughs> but they don't. But yeah, have no <laughs> idea because if they did understand it, they wouldn't be right. working in yeah. social media marketing. They wouldn't be. <laughs> they would be in social media. They wouldn't right. be in social media. It's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to hit that record real quick? Just uh, I got it. Thanks. The best I think um, was one meeting I had where some people were talking about how to promote on Twitter and like they wanted to build like this very elaborate like website experience and I'm like hey man have you ever used Twitter like do you know it's like it's like fucking people getting knocked out and like ISIS shit and no one's gonna be like oh my god what a wonderful brand experience let me retweet this yeah that's why like dude the best like the fucking isn't it like Denny's or something yeah it's like the stupid account yeah post or Wendy's and shit yeah it's like the dumbest shit but they do a better job yeah but like it works but it's like 
yeah it's corny because it's i don't know a brand yeah, yeah it's a brand doing it but it's but they're know. self-aware at least yeah they're yeah yeah. yeah yeah it's not like uh yeah so it's funny like Equ- like equifax touching down on twitter being like oh i know we breached all your information but yeah here's a cool meme hello fellow <laughs> kids yeah, okay. yeah. just a gif just, yeah <laughs> that's the lowest form of comedy it's yeah. just yeah, posting gifs, gifs. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, just try a little bit, just yeah. a little bit. No, at least with these with these people who have no idea what's going on, they'll try and use a hashtag or they'll try and use a joke. True. The people that just post gifts or like the companies that do that and think that's enough, <laughs> you're the worst. Yeah, you're yeah. the worst. You're just contributing to how much shitty content there is online. And, you're the problem. And they all <laughs> use the same gifts. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like they're like, oh, what's a what's a Game of Thrones? Anyone seen that? Game of Thrones. Uh, with the, yeah. If we get like Jon Snow doing like a. Cool. A what? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> at, at least like the when Bay eats food and she's happy, they at least like say the joke. They don't type the joke. Right. They say the joke and film a video with it. Right. The gif is like typing when Bay eats food and finding a gif, just typing yeah. dance <laughs> yeah. into a, yeah. the gif thing yeah. and posting that. Yeah. yeah. It's way less. It's, it's like it's an, honestly insulting to people that to people yeah. that follow you. How are you gonna do that? Yeah. 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 Just flood their shit with garbage. I fucking hate my explore page on Instagram. Yeah. It's complete trash. I know it's getting yeah. like way worse. I could I could harp on uh, Twitter moments to the end. Nobody it, goes on Twitter moments. No, but like because they've baked it into search. So oh really? If you oh, search. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like they, they try to fucking shove it in your face. And then if you here's what I love to do actually. I go search. If you scroll down, it says popular in content creators and it's like all the corny the corniest Jake of corny yeah. no even corny oh, and it's all like virtue signaling garbage you know like one tweet was uh two pages into hillary's book and i'm already tearing up it's like <laughs> <laughs> all right man yeah and it's like a 42 year old like single dad yeah you're just like, yeah, come like, on fam yeah uh, I, I was giving the i was like talking on a on a panel like two weeks ago to the, to AT and T, who like they have like a whole wing of their company that yep. like is trying to understand digital and all this stuff, mm-hmm. and they actually do a really good job. They're pretty good at it. Yeah. But like, so I was like talking to like a bunch of exec or like I guess like four of us like YouTubers were talking to like a bunch of executives, <laughs> and uh, they were all like so the 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 concept of a hashtag got brought up, and someone was like, "Don't use hashtags," and I was like, "Don't." ever use them yeah. ever yeah and they were like why <laughs> why and i was like do you really do you really think when you do a campaign and you have your like at&t express don't be afraid to express your campaign you know what i'm saying like that campaign yeah. where they always have some weird tagline yeah and the hashtag is also like at&t express you yeah you know something yeah. like that yeah. at&t express you or something like that that's the hashtag and they ask all the creators or all everyone they're doing the campaign with to put that in there how many people do you think click see that hashtag gosh i wonder what other posts (laughs) are attributed with this uh, this many yeah yeah you see when's the last time you clicked on a hashtag um oh when uh yahoo news Mm -hmm. uh accidentally substituted the word bigger with (laughs) oh no oh yeah yeah. Yeah. oh i remember that i remember that yeah uh, about the Navy. Okay. That's the yeah, last I that. hashtag that I remember with actual activity where people were like, mm, mm. let's see what else is yeah. in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think in those moments, hashtags are actually kind of good. Yeah. yeah. Hashtags are only good when for- they're racial slurs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. When they're- um, No, racist shit is going yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what, what else kind of racist shit is up in here? Oh my God. It's extremely racist in here. I had no idea given the name of this hashtag that it would go this route, but it's uh, confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, there's racist shit it's going re- on in here. It's really yeah, racist sure. up in this hashtag. <laughs> Yo, mom, <laughs> check this hashtag. This hashtag yeah, this so is racist. Cody, next time you're advising AT and T, just let them know uh, <laughs> if, if they want hashtag interaction. Just drop a racial yeah, slur. Drop a in there. Racial, racial slur. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I'll, I'll call them. I'll send them an email after yeah, this yeah. for sure. Yeah. Start with a classic. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Chink. So, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'd, I'd throw one out. God yeah. damn it, dude. Yeah. Just, Am I going to have that? No, you're kind of Chinese, aren't you? I mean, I could pass. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. Well, when, I was in Bar- when I was in Barcelona. Even more racist. When I was in Barcelona. This is a real life hashtag right yeah. now. Wait, but is it racist? Because we don't know if you're, we don't know if what you're Chinese, then <laughs> we don't really know that's what tight. I That's tight. You yeah. can use any of them then because yeah. no one knows. Well, maybe not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can use all of them. Well, uh, hmm. you know. No, when I was in Barcelona, someone thought I was Chinese. This Filipino lady. What? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Racist. She was like, it, we, we were just talking, and I was like, what do you think I am? And she's like, 
I don't know. You look Chinese to me. And then Alina just immediately starts busting up laughing, which I was like, <laughs> what's wrong with, what if I was? <laughs> what if I was? It was like, Alina's the racist. No, no, no. Okay. No. Jesus, quick to. Yeah. Uh, no, she was on. laughing because she guessed that you were Chinese without even seeing your dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Save. Alina knew because. Yeah. Yeah. Alina's like, holy shit. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Give me five, lady. You guessed it. On the money. <laughs> that thing is a pea shooter. It's not no dragon dick. I'll tell you that much. Oh. I'm going yeah. to buy one of those sheaths. <laughs> That's going to be. Yeah. It's actually appropriate time. It's actually appropriate time for our mid roll ad. Dragondicks.com. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just click the Become uh, the Beast. That's beast. their tag. Yeah. <laughs> it's just different dudes. Become the beast. Become, yeah. B E C U M. Just different dudes posing in like fucking dragon cosplay <laughs> with dragon dicks. Too far? Oh, Jesus. I'm just getting a little Wait, bit gross out. Have you ever seen the pterodactyl porn on E-Bombs World? Yes, I have seen yes. that. Yes. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, my God, bro. It is hilarious. It's so good. It's a, it's a, that's a classic old internet yeah. program. Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah, that, that the video? Pterodactyl yeah, porn? 100%. Yeah. It's so goddamn funny. Because uh, apart from the fucking, it's a Godzilla set all the way. Yeah. Like, they could have shot... Easily, episode six of Godzilla. Man, I miss shocker videos. Yeah. When's yeah. the last time you saw a real good shocker video? Uh, one that made you go, oh. The one I sent you the other day? What? Of the girl shitting in her hand after the club? But that's uh, not really. I'm talking like two girls true, in a cup yeah. type shit. Yeah. Dude, that one. Ooh, yeah. Funny. Yeah. yeah. That remember that? A, remember the that first like time? That was like classic, yeah. You always like, remember the first, the, where you are the first time you saw two girls, one cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always remember that. Yeah. Yep. I actually don't. Remember mine. I do. You do? That was, yeah. You were you, naked and. <laughs> yeah, I was about to come and then. <laughs> said, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to save it. I'm going to hold this. This one's good. Yeah. I'm going to hold it for a better one. Mr. Hands, anyone? Mr. Yes. Hands? Yep, yep, yep. Tub yep, girl. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Oh! You remember that one? Classic yeah. tub girl. Yeah. Lemon party? Yeah. Lemon party. I remember yeah. that one. Well, you were in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> It's you, George Bush, and uh, yeah. you know, some geriatric guy. Yeah. 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 yeah good times, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. You know. Well, after I went viral as Tub Girl, it's, you know, my career has been. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't realize those are my legs. Wow. That's a graphic image. Thick. Thick. Yeah. Pain, Pain, Pain Olympics. Pain Olympics. Oh, I remember that. I remember you remember, that you know that one? That you one. know that one is actually fake? Which I found out they were testing like they were testing uh, for like a movie or something. Oh, okay. And it's oh, all special God. effects or like all like a, what yeah. do you call like real life mm -hmm. effects or whatever? Yeah, practical effects. Yeah. Practical effects. Oh, thank fucking God. Yeah, that one was brutal. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, if you if you're listening and you have no idea what we're talking about, don't go look that up. Yeah, don't do it. Don't, you don't look up see that. BME Pain Olympics. Don't, don't do it. Up. Don't look that up on. Uh, I think leak. you can find it on Live Leak. Yeah, don't look that up. Don't do it. Um, don't search it. Don't. BME Pain Olympics. Don't do that. Yeah. Absolutely do not. Because you don't want to see that. Do not go to lemonparty.org. You, you just, know what was actually my favorite one? What? Meat Spin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was classic. I mean, that's an absolute classic. Yeah. yeah. That'll go down in history. Yo, so a stupid prank that a buddy of mine named Jesse used to mm -hmm. do was we'd go to parties, and if they were whack, we'd find the house computer, okay. and we'd crank the volume all the way up, and we'd put on Meat Spin, and we'd just leave. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd, our like, mutual friends would just tell us like later on like what ended up happening. You know, and it was always like towards the end of the night, they could just hear out of this room, just going, I'm Ryan Spinners, I'm Ryan Spinners, that don't stop. And then like the, whoever owned the house was like, yo, what the fuck? And then they'd say, how long has this been on here? No, the song was, you spin me there right were, there around, were, baby, right around. Oh, there around. were multiple? There were, there, I mean, there was one with Ryan Spinners. Okay. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was really? your favorite one? That was my favorite, yeah. personally. Let me, just, let me just real quick. Yeah. I'll check. <laughs> I'll bring it up and we can set it right. just in the yeah. background. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it used to have a spin counter. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it, dude. I, like the, the what kids was your high school. Score? Oh yeah. No, everyone would be like, dude, like how many did you watch? <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't watch past six. It's like, dude, it's a fucking dick. Yeah. You have a dick. Yeah. It's the same. Like, yeah. I mean, it's a guy getting fucked in the ass though. 
<laughs> Maybe I didn't remember that part. Yeah, that's the part. That's that, why his dick is spinning. Yeah, because he's oh, getting rammed from the oh, bottom. Oh, shit. And it's, and, it's, and it's flopping in it's the like air. Pretty, oh, that's why I was able to watch it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the cropped version. <laughs> no, I, well, I forgot about that. I thought it was just a dude fucking spinning his dick. No, no. it's really, Wait, really pull graphic. pull it up. I don't remember it, that. Really <laughs> <laughs> dude, don't worry. It's my homepage. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really graphic. But it's like once you've seen it six times. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You've yeah. seen it. So like you might yeah. as well just go the distance. The shock factor is over. Yeah. It's just, yeah. The go the distance. Like it's an MMA match. Well, yeah. Like you're trying to get the oh, high yeah, score. This is gross. Stop, dude. I don't <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> There's hella ads on this shit. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're making <laughs> bank off that. <laughs> Yo, oh, made that website fuck. Hey, caking. They have a whole, well, I mean, I'm sure the other guy's caking, but, um, they have a whole list here. Meat spin, two friends, one fish. I'm swinging. Goatsy. Oh, Goatsy. That's oh, a great I one. That one. No. Do you guys remember the We're good. The dildo up the pee. Well, how did we get on this topic? This is- <laughs> I don't know. I brought it up. Oh yeah. yeah. The dildo yeah, up the pee hole. Remember oh yeah, kids in the sandbox. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh fuck. I never saw oh. that, but I don't even yeah, want to think of that. Don't yeah. even want to think of that. <laughs> yeah, that one's brutal. All right, let's change the subject because I feel like I'm like, yeah. if any like potential ad companies are listening right now including dragondicks.com. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, mm, mm. we were good up until you got to the... The you know, pain Olympics the part. The pain Olympics yeah. part. That's crazy, though, that that's fake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's fake. It's all... Um, so what's your next show? <laughs> uh, well, I got a uh, meat spin special, actually. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, no, I... Uh, um, Wait, you, you don't have control over the graphics behind you when you're spinning, do you? I do. Well... I mean, I have some that I send to them to put but up. You but you can't like on the fly. No, it's not my job to. Yeah. No, somebody else is doing that. Uh, that'd be so. super hilarious. I'll add, yeah, you're not yeah, doing I'll that as you're DJing. You're and not, I like, should. That'd you're be not like you know, like rubbing changing. two clits and yeah. changing the no, fucking videos no, behind you at the same else. time. <laughs> Make some noise if you like meat spin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Click it on. It's just up in the background. High score, baby. <laughs> yeah. We're all getting a high score tonight together, Miami. Again, like, the Guinness World Records <laughs> for most people. Like, dude, that book, uh, that like thing is so weird. I remember loving that shit as a kid. Guinness Book of World Records? Yeah, yeah. like, because it's the weirdest. It's like most people to consecutively like hug each other while like yeah. Africa Toto is playing yeah, in the background. Yeah, yeah. It's like Who? the most weird. Yeah, how many was yeah. that though? That's an interesting one. Oh, a 28. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we could beat no. that. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys want to just, you know, <laughs> if you guys sign up at meatspin.com and we'll go ahead and put this world record together. No, Dude, my but... dad was in the 2008 one. Really? Yeah. He's a picture of him. Everything like standing next to like his what? bike. He like broke the record for uh, longest distance travel in 24 hours by human power. Yeah. See, Whoa. that's a, what does that mean? Like it means like by bike. only the power of yourself. So he like designed a bike that it was like a lay down Whoa. bike that had like a shell over it and he just drove around a track. Holy or, like, fuck. He rode around a track for <laughs> I remember this. 24 hours straight. I remember this. Yeah. That was your fucking <laughs> dad. So funny. You actually remember seeing that? I actually that? remember that. I actually remember that. Seriously. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, I'm what, not kidding. Silver, like yeah. almost looked like a bullet. Yes. That, yeah, that was my dad. Because that's something. That's so funny. Yeah. I don't know why that's so funny to that's, me, but that's so funny. That's something. <laughs> he wanted to just do that or? He wanted to do it. He like trained for a long time. He had the world record for. Like, if you think about it, it's a really cool record. It's like it is no, the that's furthest like a that of, a man has yeah. ever traveled by his own means. Yeah, in twenty four hours. Yeah, it's that's like, like Forrest ever. Gump two point Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Except that's yeah. sick. Yeah, <laughs> except real and in a silver. That's yeah. tight. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's yeah it's I mean it is kind of funny. Like, no, it's, it's hilarious. It's an absurd, it's cool. it's an absurd time, record, it's but it's like, hilarious. Dang. And then he did the same thing on water. Really? With a boat. Yeah. Is that he one? just wait. So for twenty four hours, no breaks. He just went. Yeah. Well, no. He like stopped to like take a shit like once or twice. Right. But he had like a catheter, so every time he had to pee, he didn't no stop. Way. Yeah, it's crazy. What? Like so he's pretty pedaling much with a ca- Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's painful. Yeah. Pedaling with a catheter. Yeah. That's, yeah. Jesus. Is that? I've never had a catheter. Or maybe it's just, I haven't either. It goes up your pee hole though, yeah. doesn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe it's just something that like clamped onto his dick. Maybe I don't know. Let's stop yeah. talking about There's my dad's probably, dick. <laughs> <laughs> does it make you uncomfortable? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it does just a little bit. Yeah. When? When? How old were you when you first saw your dad's dick? Just, I don't know. I think I was like nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> when you first saw it? <laughs> yeah. All right, son. I think you're old enough now. <laughs> well, the first time I saw it hard, or. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, no ads are gonna be ever yeah. on your podcast. I'll stop. This, um, is, this is how I like. I knew I was gonna be a piece of shit kid. I think I was like. 
five or six and I figured out like hitting someone in the nuts like hurts. Yeah. Cause I think I like hit my dad in the nuts, like just, just whatever. And he like, he like wins. He goes, ah, don't fucking do that. Like you got pissed. Yeah. And I'm like, he has a weak spot. <laughs> my dad is not invincible. And like from that day forward, I was like a six year old, just like doing nut checks on my dad. <laughs> And it was like my dad just had this like this little mini bro like living in his house like eh, change my shit and then I just you know smack him in the nuts. Come on, bitch. Yeah, you yeah. pussy. Gotcha. <laughs> Take shot. Like yeah, yeah. And I was so low that like what was he gonna do? I mean, dick slap you? Like yeah. hit? Like just hit you? Yeah, but I would like go into the floor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You couldn't yeah. do shit really. Yeah. Guess it's catch a charge. Yeah. Two thousand. You couldn't do that anymore. Yeah. You're. you're I know. Well, Nineteen ninety six. You could still hit kids in '96. Yeah, you could. You could definitely hit kids in '96. Yeah, yeah I got hit when I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that explains a lot, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, release date? Are yeah. we talking about? Oh, yeah. Are we talking yeah, about? We never. We never. We came back. TMG. I say, what I was thinking was December twentieth. That's what I was thinking. How many tracks? A tape? Tape? What? Let's four, go tape. Four, a tape. Five, five songs. Tape. Four or five. five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five. Five songs. We but got one. Work, we got one. We got one. Started. Yeah. Started. Started. A couple. We could his, play. his beat. Yeah, we got yeah. some. Yeah, yeah I got, made I made one yesterday too. I sent it to Noel. Yeah. Like a new beat? Yeah. yeah. Really? Sorry. Yeah, I'll show Very you. Fire. Oh, no, just send it to Noel. It's fine. You have to yeah, send it to me. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> must have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> yeah. No. Ooh, no. Well. yeah. I mean, you know, postage these days is kind of yeah. weird with the UPS <laughs> and uh, post office feud. It's kind of fucked yeah, up. Yeah, nail mailing someone a beat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, check out my cassette. So actually, we got to look at the calendar because I don't know. I don't know. Like we, we need to re- release on a Friday, right? Isn't that like standard? Yeah. Monday. I don't know. I've done Mondays, Tuesday. I like people release. It's never a Thursday usually, but it's like Monday or Tuesday are OK or Friday is OK. OK. Let's um, let's see. Dece- uh, December 22nd is a Friday. Christmas. We right before Christmas. People Ooh. will be bumping it over the holidays. I'm with it. They do a cri- pop a Christmas carol on the tape. Oh, wait. Pop- or what about like. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, like a hard track. I like that. Then Jingle we should bells? do it like December like 15th so that people buy it for Christmas. For yeah. their for their each other's like siblings oh, and shit for Christmas. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Little Christmas hip hop. December 15th is a great day. I feel I, great about that. I despise Christmas hip hop, but I will entertain it. We don't have to do Christmas hip hop. But we could do but a, we could do one song. Yeah. yeah a little we'll do Buble cover on yeah. there. Oh. Yeah. Or like you know how we like the Owl City shit? We yeah. could rap over like the corniest. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what Christmas I think would be song. like. Yeah. Jingle no, should, bells. Like Mariah like, Carey. Yeah. Or like or, Mariah yeah, Carey yeah, Christmas yeah. album or something like that. No, like should, put verses on it. We should just yeah. Michael Bublé a track. Just straight up. Just the whole. <laughs> just a serious oh, just sing song. It. Baby, when will you be mine? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Tell me. It's the whole. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Uh, it's 15th. Okay. Are we going with the name we discussed? Yeah, yeah, don't say it though. Don't don't say it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. December fifteenth, market you sons of bitches. Tiny Meat Game first first mixtape officially announced December fifteenth. TMG baby. TMG. TMG. Yeah. So Spock's we were, gonna produce some a little bit. Of it. Uh, Chris Chris boy DP. Some of it. DP. Yeah. Diamond P. <laughs> DP baby. This uh, there's a lot of innuendos you can make out of just DP. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, dick pussy. Yeah, dick pussy. Dildo Poseidon. Um, I was just yeah. going just, du- just a Poseidon with just Poseidon, a dildo. dildo. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to go double penetration, but. Yeah, but that's the standard one. Everyone knows that one. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a classic though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vintage. Mm. Vintage innuendo. How, who, I always want to know who came up with these, like porn categories. Because you know porn, it started with just something simple. It was mm. just like porn. Yeah. And then I want to know the points where it just started to become marginalized and subgroups started happening it's just like the person who has that fetish fetish i think yeah well, probably do you, do you think but, that, but, yeah but some of them aren't even fetishes they're just like brainstorming it's i feel like well yeah, there's like i guess some of them are fetishes but a lot of them are just like like a normal cat like that's blonde true. girl yeah. or whatever it yeah is. that's true it's or, a crazy fetish or like overwatch <laughs> overwatch that's blonde a, girl. totally yeah normal. yeah right uh is yeah it? yeah like, right right yeah yeah that one's like been around. Robot. Or dragon dildo. Dra- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dragon totally dicks. normal. Yeah. Totally normal. All right, let's get off dragon dicks. 100% normal. So December 15th. December 15th. We're, you're unemployed. 
We can I'm do it. I'm not, don't have a job, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> we, we can, can do, do it. five songs. We can. We can do five songs. We can. Five songs. Yeah. We can commit to it. Or four or five. Whatever. Four. That'll Three, be a maybe flexible two. thing. One, maybe who two. knows? One song. Who knows? Single. Yeah. A single. Single. Yeah. Single. But I think we can do it. We might announce another song on that day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be the December 15th, the announcement of the mixtape. The mixtape. Of the mixtape. Right. Of the single. Of the, yeah. Of Tiny Me Gang. <laughs> All right. We're pleased to release the announcement <laughs> for the mixtape today. <laughs> the announcement will be on December 15th. Have you, what you've made, you have EPs, right? No. I you don't? don't? No. It's just only been singles? Yeah, it's only really? singles. I, yeah. Well, Last year, I I had, I wrote these songs kind of as an EP, but then I just ended up releasing them as singles. Okay. I don't know, dude. I feel like... Is it because you like keep getting better and you... N- uh, like no, what? it's not really. It's just because like, I don't know. I feel like people, until people like are begging for an EP, like an EP is not going to do... I just feel like, I don't know. EPs can like... I don't know. I've just said nothing this whole time, but it's it's like hard to describe that. Like people don't consume music as like an EP anymore. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's how I feel. People just like listen to a single and they're like, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Or even if you release an EP, it's like they listen to it for three days and they're like, Oh cool. When's the next song coming out? Yeah. Right. Like they just, just like listen to it and then they're done. with it. I think people still like, uh, like appreciate the yeah. uh, concept of like a project. Yeah. I think especially like, yeah. but like, I think it's like once you like reach a certain level, at least like, I don't know with someone like 21 Savage, like everyone's yeah. like waiting for his album. And when yeah. it comes out, people like enjoy or like Kendrick or whatever, like yeah. enjoy the album for like, no, and that's, for that's like true. months and months until the next like yeah. release comes out or whatever. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm not at that point yet. I haven't like sat down and been like, all right, cool. I'm going to write like an EP. Yeah. You know, it's kind of just, yeah. I have like, at any given time, I have four or five songs like in the works or whatever, but yeah. but they're, uh, they're not like a thing I want to bundle as like yeah. EP. Yeah. yeah, it's not like a, like fucking Calvin Harris like set out to like do funk, right like funk shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Tonally, yeah. everything was the same. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I, I feel like at this point too, I want to I want to release music more frequently. Just I don't know. No, I think just that definitely it, it helps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then maybe once I'm at a point where it's like okay, I kind of feel like I can take two or three months off from releasing music and just sit down and like write some, yeah. write like a, a thing that works together. Yeah. Then I'll do it. Yeah, you what's should. Your, what's yeah. your day to day? Are you like just working on music all day usually? Uh, I don't know. For me, like, no, not really. Like, I just can't. It, it's hard to, because I'm just producing like in my living room. Yeah. Like in the corner of my living room. So it's yeah. kind of hard to like get in a space where it's like, okay, cool. And I'm in an apartment, so the music has to be low. I yeah. hate wearing it's. I, I don't know. I'm just making excuses, but it's it's kind of hard to just get in like <laughs> no, I feel the that. zone. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? I so, yeah. But um, so you're looking for a studio, though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go on Monday. I just got a call before we came over, and Noel's gonna come. You yeah. can come if you want. Okay. Yeah. Look at like yeah, no, studio no, space. dude. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Fine. You send Noel no. beats. No, it's yeah. I'll go with him to book a studio. It's fine, dude. That was cool. You can just come. There's one. Do my podcast and then fucking leave. Anyways, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, so uh, me, uh, me and Spock, me are, we're, we're going to go get some lunch. We'll see you yeah. later. Uh, <laughs> you hungry? We can, like, you can, you you can get your own food, right? right? Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I can just Uber yeah, Eats yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's There's cool. Where are you guys heading? Just, Abbot just, Kenny, if you want to go. We're going to go back to uh, Noel's place, but okay. you can. We actually yeah. threw, we threw a turkey in the oven last yeah. night. A turkey? We were working on yeah. turkey yesterday. Sorry, we didn't. Um, you're going to eat here and have a turkey meal. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite. It's, yeah, it's, it's my been, favorite. But yeah, it's been no. cooking for twenty hours. I'm sure yeah. I can get turkey somewhere around here. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Completely. Thanksgiving's almost around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good. Yeah, maybe you should call like someone who gives a shit about your meals and <laughs> see if they want to like cook you some. <laughs> I have to say, Spock is him and Nolan are in my top two of like young people. Lamest. Oh, yeah, lamest. Yeah, yeah lamest. Yeah. No, just young people who will roast yeah. you from handshake. Like, yeah, yeah. don't give a fuck. I think Spock has been roasting me. Yeah. Dude, when you, the, the shit you said to those two girls when we, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, I saw them, by the way, yesterday. Oh, really? Or the no day way. before. Yeah. In Venice Beach, I was walking with Devin to go surfing and they're what? sitting there and like the, like literally the morning after we saw them there and they were like, what the fuck? And I was like, what do you guys, we're like an hour and a half away <laughs> from so where far. you were yesterday. Really weird. But anyways, so these two girls were in the studio. They were staying with Christian and Spock just, I was like, hey, trying to be nice. Like, hey, 
how you guys doing? Where are you from? They're like, we're from Canada. I was like, me too, or whatever. And they're like, we're going out. Okay, bye. Spock goes, hey, girls, ladies, don't remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> like so loud. And they were like, yeah, uh, um, huh, yeah, we won't. Yeah. Cause it's funny. Cause they don't know, they don't know you. Yeah. So like, they yeah. don't know if you're being, they probably just think like, do you like just fucking fuck with people it? that you don't know? Yeah. Cause I'm never, dude, I'm never going to see them again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, Christian's probably never going to see them again either. Like, <laughs> just, I saw them again the next day. Yeah, but you didn't have to. You didn't have to, like, <laughs> I go I didn't have to, but... Yeah. just like, oh, there's those chicks who went to the Peppermint Club last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, because it's just funny. Yeah. It's it was, not like it was, a, it it was wasn't in, like, a mean funny. way. It's just like, you're just messing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty fucking funny. I wouldn't... Like, if I just met someone, I'd be like, hey, fuck you. No, no, you know, no, it's yeah. Just like, yeah. No, it's you're not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. but yeah, I do. I do. Fuck like you, with stupid it's bitches. <laughs> like, Your friend's uh, really for, mean. That's for the second time I'm. You know, that's, <laughs> that's not the first time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it's a. It's a. It's, it's a, a prank. It's a prank, dude. Go so on. I do. I do want to come see your studio on Monday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe. Well, I'll. I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How my people? Have, yeah. Talk, talk, talk to my people. Yeah. I don't know. I told them it was just gonna be me and Noel. So. Anyways. Well, um, yeah. I'm just gonna. So I'll probably, Noel, I'll probably take <laughs> off if you guys just want to keep talking. <laughs> just keep talking. I'm going to take off. <laughs> That's what everyone fucking... Dude, all the comments on the last... So I did the last podcast podcast with Kelsey. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All the... Did you read the comments? No, no, no. Uh, just get get Kelsey and Noel to do the podcast. <laughs> wow. Not to wow. Do it. Wow. Mean. How <laughs> fucked is that? It's super mean. So like, we just want to see Noel and Kelsey. We don't need to see you anymore. God uh, damn it. Okay. Your own following. You're just like an entity. I know. Cody Co. Yeah. presents other people. I'm just a producer. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not even a good producer. You had to set up the camera today. <laughs> he just steps in. He's like, hey, guys. Crowd's like, no, boo. <laughs> Out. <laughs> no more. You're the Jeff Dunham. We're the puppets. <laughs> oh, my God. No oh, my God. <laughs> that fucker makes so much money. Jesus. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <sighs> I'm fine with that. Jeff Dunham, bro. No, I actually, I actually do listen to your podcast because I, dude, it's embarrassing. I, did, I never told you before, so I figured I'd tell you on the cast. Okay. <laughs> because, okay. dude, I, because I travel a bunch, you know, yeah. I'm on planes and shit all the yeah. time. So I just download like tons of podcasts all the time and I just put them on and just play games with my phone and okay. whatever. So it's a good, it's a good cast. I like oh, it. It, yeah. yeah it's, it's entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, I mean, appreciate it. Thanks, Noel. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate yeah, that. Noel is super funny. On <laughs> you should just get him to do one yeah. with Kelsey, and that's oh my it. God. Yeah. Fuck. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I listen to your music. Yeah. Oh, I actually do. Yeah. Hey, straight. Noel, up. do you? Uh, <laughs> Cody, you want to come? Do you want to go? Do you want to get food after this? Yeah. Oh fuck, yeah. fuck! 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 No, no. I listen. I listen to every single song. Yeah. No, I actually do. No, that's, that's I do. Funny. Um, actually, Where, how dude, I go ahead. Oh, no, no, you go, you go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so me and Noel were, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, Demon, right? Demon, that was Demons, one of the recent yeah, ones. That's, yeah, I was like bumping that actually, like, fucking yeah. for many hours, like Thanks, on, on repeat. Yeah. What's the one with the yellow album art? Yeah, that's Demons. Demons. A Demon, yeah, I fucking love yeah. Demon. Yeah, I love Thanks, Demon. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's like the, the chill one that's, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't like listen to because my other songs, that one's like more chill but my other ones are like heavier that's like yeah. dude i don't want to listen to it's like the, the shit we were playing the other night at christian yeah. it's like dude i don't want to listen to that for fun like yeah if i'm you listening to music i don't want to listen to like listen to your own music for fun no no not not my own no okay, i right. don't but like, oh you don't listen to like the genre the jo- not really okay. i mean i listen to it if it's like if there's a cool song that i want to but like whenever i listen to it i like critique it way too hard like oh they're doing that with the, uh, that so it's yeah. like yeah, you can't enjoy it's it. like how you were talking about like you're thinking about comedy all day so when you go home you don't want to watch comedy yeah yeah it's yeah. kind of like i, ne- I don't know I never, it's kind of like that like i never consume like yeah when i'm done cutting or like whatever like i always want something really heavy or the just complete opposite or whatever the fuck i've been thinking about all yeah. day yeah that's why i was watch like murder mystery and shit yeah and fucked up videos it's kind yeah. of funny. I, I go through. I was kind of thinking that the other day. I like stopped listening to podcasts, but then yesterday I was like listening to them again on my run, and I was like, it's kind of it's a little bit inspiring to listen to. Yeah, no, totally. Like occasionally, to yeah, like dip into. Yeah, you just like a, it's like a weird balance. Yep, yeah. yep, I agree. No, I love I love podcasts. Do I listen to them all the time? Like I, I put them on when I'm like taking a shower. It's just yeah. like people really? talking. Yeah, it's yeah. just like people talking. So I it's like that. oh cool, and like in the car and shit. Yep. Who else do you listen to? Uh. 
Dobrik's podcast is funny. No, no, I meant like. Oh, I thought you were saying <laughs> point. Out. Yeah, I was listening to Views or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. Dobrik and and uh, dude, they're Jason. funny, man. They're Jason funny. Nash is funny. Did you listen to mine with? Yeah, Jason I listened to yours with Jason. Dude, he's, he's funny. A funny fucking right. dude. Very. I dude, I honestly did not think he was funny at all yeah. on Vine. Okay. Until I started like seeing him do other shit. Yeah, yeah. Because like I don't know. On, it's funny on how Vine, that I felt, medium like yeah yeah does not represent. And I, yeah. I feel like even like Instagram comedy is kind of the same thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Podcast no, it's, it's, is the most honest form of yeah. yep. the most yeah. honest medium. I feel like yep. you really get to know like yeah. a, how a person's like actually yeah. like, no, um, I, I listen he's to him. a funny dude. I'll throw on Joe Rogan every once in a Cause th- dude, those episodes are like three hours long. Yeah. So like I only have long. to download like two or three for yeah. like, that's what we're gonna do. This one's gonna go for three. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we just hit just one. Double, we're gonna go, go for three six yeah. hours. Just dude. seventeen days straight talking. <laughs> yeah, let's get the Guinness World Record for the longest starting podcast now. Episode. Yeah, that'd starting be tight. now. Let's do it. I mean, I I could be down yeah. when I'm like making money and I can. Yo, like, afford. get the catheters, bro. We're going. <laughs> fuck. No, fuck that. I, wait, you guys don't already have one on? No. Oh, I just I it's kind of my day to day. Just. Oh, learn dude, from your father. You okay. Just pop it on, back pocket. You're good. Exactly. Good. When time is money, dude, I don't want to waste it going to the fucking bathroom. Yeah. Man. Sick. Hell yeah. no. Just roll, roll into the club with a catheter. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Bouncer pats you down. What the fuck is this, man? Hey, relax. It's a catheter. <laughs> it's a catheter. Dude. You know, I pull up with that thing. You know, I pull up with that thing, homie. <laughs> Chill, that's young. A, that's not a bad idea. I always have anxiety when I'm fucking Bro, playing. Club, club bath. Oh, that. And I was going to say club bathrooms are... Oh, they're Shit gross. Holes. Yeah, no, they're gross. Yeah. You ever taken shit in the club? Yeah. In the green, I've only done it in the green room of like, like the mm. back. You know oh, I mean? wow. We get it. Yeah. yeah. You're oh, a you're DJ. DJ. Dude, I was with it, you dude. for your first green room experience. Yes, you were. Yeah. yeah. That was wow. fucking that was fun. Sick. That was a fun show. That was a really fun show. Yeah. I had a blast. Oh, yeah. So you guys had We fun? had so much fun without Noel. Yeah. It was great, dude. <laughs> I think I texted you or maybe. No, it's cool. You guys got it. You got it. Peace, dude. Good to see you. It was anyways. That, that anyways. show was actually a lot of fun, though. <laughs> no, it really was. Yeah, it was what, fun. What club was it? Exchange. Uh, Exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Downtown. Okay. But I got to tell you, man, if you're ever gonna go to like a if an electronic show, you got to be backstage. Yeah. It's the yeah. way to do it. Yeah. It's way better. Just yeah. go backstage. Yeah. It's a way to do it. Okay. Yeah. It's I'll, way better. I'll let them know that. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like free alcohol back there and shit like yeah. that. We we're just getting turned up. It was yeah. a lot of fun. At EDC, dude, it was crazy. They had like a big. It was like a huge tent of just like open bar open like food shit it's just like it was tight and yeah. it's just like who's hanging backstage just like all the famous it's, DJs. yeah so it's it's like it was a big backstage area so all the artists had like their trailers and then there's just a big tent of like the artist booth thing it was just a big like Do you get your own trailer tent. no i didn't play i was i was just there with oh gotcha gotcha, gotcha, people. gotcha yeah what's the best show you've ever played Probably Moonrise Festival in Baltimore. It was like Why? It was huge. Really? It was just because it was big. Yeah, it was cool. It was it was like I don't know. It was either that or this past weekend. I don't know. I've had a lot of good shows um recently. I, I played Webster Hall in New York, which was like nuts. It was the it was I think it was the last show there ever because they closed it down. Okay. Wow. But uh I it was supposed to be the last show, and then like two days before my show there, Skrillex was like, yeah, I'm playing a show the day after. I was like, fuck you, dude. I, wow. I, wanted, I wanted the last yeah. show. But uh, no, it was, that show was crazy. And it was my first time in New York, which was tight. New York is yeah, so New York sick. is crazy. It's so sick. Would dude, you, I, would you live there? I don't know. It's, I don't know. Maybe. Not right now, I wouldn't. But maybe in a few years when I yeah. don't want to live in LA anymore. Yeah. I like LA, though. Yeah. But yeah, LA's the best. Dude, yeah. New York was so <clears throat> sick. I just, yeah. I walked around. I took a red you eye. You do anything at any yeah. point. Yeah. It's amazing. It is, I took a red eye there. So I, I was there all day before the show and then I didn't fly out the next day until like eight at night or whatever. So yeah. I had basically just two full days by myself yeah. in New York. So I just, dude, I walked like the whole fucking, <laughs> the whole, the whole, I the, did. I walked like New York, dude, I walked all the way down to like wherever the, uh, fucking, I don't remember what it's called. The World Empire Trade Center State, shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I walked all the way down Freedom there Tower. and then like all the way up to Central Park and shit. Like I walked everywhere. It was tight. Yeah. So fun. Just by yourself so too. I'd never really, that was like the first time I traveled. Usually I take my girlfriend or I'll have like my manager or something with me, but this is my first time by myself and it was just so tight to just yeah. travel alone and just go do shit by yourself. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Oh, I like traveling by myself. Yeah. Um, but New York's such a fun place. Like go out and stuff like that. Yeah, though. 
Oh yeah. It's just like the night, the night never ends. Like people like start partying dude, like yeah, super the, late. The because show just like, went till like 4am or something. Really? I was like, holy fuck. Was dude, it a good I, show? Yeah, it was, a, it was, I don't know if it was the best. It was probably the second best show I've ever played. Okay. Dang. So it was like, yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Was I haven't been to time. New York as an adult. I've only been there as a kid. Really? Yeah. Dude, dude you gotta go, man. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really just, it's just like awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. big and there's like, tons of cool like just like every area is different but there's like yeah. so much like so many restaurants good food good parties yeah i'd be down yeah yeah it's tight and it's not bad either i think it's if you book it a few months out it's probably like 500 round trip yeah so that that's pretty fucking yeah. bad for for going five hours but it's, i mean it's it's a it's far cross country distance. flight yeah it's like six hours know, it's a six yeah. hour flight yeah because fucking like texas is like as big as all of Europe. Yeah. Not yeah. really, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like you're flying a far ass way. Yeah. 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 The um, fucking flight deals out of New York are fucking dope too. Yeah. I see that shit all the time. So yeah. That's got well, because of like London and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking uh, crazy. Yeah. You ever played in Europe? No, I've never been anywhere except the US. I've never been out of this country. Really? Ever? Yeah. No, ever. Jesus Christ. Dude, as a kid. Go to Mexico. I, huh? Mexico? Go to Mexico. Yeah. yeah. That'd be tight. Yeah. I'd be down. No, I, I never traveled at all as a kid. Like, I'd never been on a plane until like a year ago. What? Yeah. And that, what was that like, your first time on a plane? Dude, was I was scared. 20, I have fucking, I have like old. bad anxiety about shit, especially, I mean, it's been getting better recently, but traveling, that shit fucking Freaks stressed out. me out. Me yeah, too, and, and like, it's so rough. Dude, so luckily I was, I was with Nick Coletti. So he was just like, dude, it's, no, I remember on, on our way there, he was like, wait, you've never flown before? I was like, no. He's like, dude, you're going to fucking freak out in the air. I was just like, fuck why, you. Why, why would, would you say, say that? that, dude? I was like, fuck you, dude. Nah, but then, I don't know. I sat down. I was like, all right, fuck. Like, I'm super anxious. And then we took off and I was like, whoa, this is kind of cool, but I'm still like anxious. And then I just fell asleep. So it was fine. Huh. <laughs> I've always wondered, you obviously weren't too nervous then if you no. fell asleep. No, well, it was like a 5 a.m. flight or something. Okay, okay. So I was, and I slept, I didn't like get any sleep because yeah, I was yeah. so tired or so like nervous about the flight. But it just, I don't know. I was still anxious. I still get kind of anxious. Yeah, I don't I'm, think it gets better. I've been flying yeah. since I was two and it's no. never gotten better for me. It's, I don't know. It's gotten a little better. Like I only, I think it's mostly like just the anxiety about the fucking, the whole trip. So like whenever I'm taking off, like going wherever I'm going, it's that's when it's the worst because it's like, oh, fuck, like there's so many things that I'm thinking about, like when I got to go to the hotel, what if that's not sorted out right? But there's just so many things. How's the show going to be anything? So like I'm always super anxious right during that takeoff. And then like once I'm going there, it's like, OK, I'm I'm, I'm good now. Yeah, like, it's fine. Yeah. It's just like the being nervous about everything that like could go wrong about the whole trip. That's just like yeah, you know, or like the stressful. wings falling off the fucking yeah, plane. yeah, that too, or that. I don't know that that doesn't scare me as much. Yeah. I don't know why. I've completely stopped giving a fuck about crashing. Yeah. Well, oh, you're like you're like fired uh, and now you yeah Tyler yeah. Durden <laughs> in the beginning of Fight Club or whatever. What do you mean? You know when he's like sitting on the plane, and he's just like I don't care like if this goes down. He's like I hope it goes down. Remember that <laughs> Fight Club? I mean, it's a great scene. Yeah, no, I'm not like that. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't fucking do that. It fucking I don't do. X, 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 whatever the fuck his stupid name is. I'm not that Ed guy Norton. on the plane. Yeah. X, 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 Tentacion. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen him on yeah. Dude, yeah, what the fuck? Thing, so. Dude, did you Happened see that video? Of with him with the hair? It's yeah. Like, Humans Can only fear what they don't understand. Don't understand. understand. Always and forever. It's like, dude, not now, dude, bro. Fuck, man. Nah. He shaved his eyebrows. <laughs> he dyed his hair white. And then he got a tree tattooed right here. He straight up looks like an alien. Straight yeah. up. I was trying to figure out why it was why he looked so weird. It's the eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, dude, people look so weird without eyebrows. Yeah. But that's not like a crazy... Like it, 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 He's acting like he did something that should not be thought of as weird. It's like, no, yeah. that's fucking Humans weird, man. Yeah, yeah like, no, that's weird. Like, dude, yeah. Why did you do that? Yeah. Humans fear what they did. Yeah, I'm eyebrows. straight yeah. up scared of you. <laughs> yeah, you're straight <laughs> up and I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> no, dude, you're scary because you're fucking weird. Yeah, that's you're scary because you're inter- you're scary because yeah. you're weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> X, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I don't mean that. Don't kill me. Yeah, <laughs> please don't punch me. Yeah, yeah, we're all just, yeah, we're we're just, just joking around. Just having a little goof. You know, you know, me just fear fearing what I don't understand, you know. I fucking classic. I just have to say, I fucking hate airplanes. Yeah. Like, no, me too. Yeah. Fucking hate them. I just go insane when I'm sitting on them and I can't fall asleep. So I Dude, just, that's the worst. So I'm just sitting there 
wanting to blow my brains out. Yeah. So, and, and in fact, I actually do become Todd Durden a little bit where halfway through, I'm like, yeah, just crash this shit. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I just fucking end it. No, because it's like when it's halfway through, it's like, fuck, if it's going to crash, I would hope that it would crash at the beginning because I don't want to, I don't want my last moments on earth to be a five hour flight where I'm like yeah, sweating true. out of my hands. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know, the only most dangerous parts are takeoff and landing. Yeah. In the air is. Yeah. There's no real. Except for when I got fucking hit by lightning in Croatia. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The That's... plane guy. I told you that. No. Yeah. Like halfway through the flight, the like flight attendant comes on and starts talking. There was like a bang. Oh, you and, like, talked a about it on the podcast. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It. yeah. I remember listening to it on a plane and I was like, fuck <laughs> you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the flight attendant comes on, like there's a bang and a flash and, and then like flight attendant comes on like 10 minutes later and she says some shit in German and all the, cause I was in Germany and all the people, Sick. all the German people are like, <laughs> look around like this. I was like, wait, 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 what, what, what did she say? What did she say? She comes on and she was like, ah, oh, we have to turn the plane around. It got hit by lightning. It's totally fine. But we have to go back to Munich because it's the only place we can do maintenance. And, oh I, and so like we were, we were halfway there to the destination no. to Croatia. Yeah. So we had to turn around and fly the same distance that we would have flown back to Munich. And the whole time, I'm like, oh, my God, the dude, the wings could just straight up fall off this plane right now. How many hours back? I was like an hour and a half, something like that. See, oh, that's still, that, that's, yeah, but that's still, you've been flying this the, that's three the, hours. Yeah, that's right? the first world yeah. in me. I would be like, really, you can't just pull the, you can't yeah. do it later. Yeah, emergency. Yeah. You can't just take us Everyone there. was like, why can't you just do maintenance and split? And they were like, well, you know, if it, like, we don't have people there. It's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Just trash the plane. Yeah. Then. <laughs> just throw After it away. Drop us <laughs> off and throw trash it. Away. it. <laughs> it's, pilot gets off. Eh, plane's no Who, good. Yeah. It's got to go. Who's going to do the, the what? what? <laughs> Who's going to do the what here? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Let me speak to your manager. I, like, I, sir, we're on a plane. Yeah. Let I, me speak to the damn where's pilot. Where's the captain? Yeah. yeah. Where's, where's the captain? Hi. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Susan. I, I'm a longtime customer here. <laughs> I've been in the air for about an I'm hour a and a half. I'm a silver member. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am not going back. I'm not. You're going to do... Who is going to do this <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Who's going to do this what? You ever like after a really good flight, you know what I mean? Talk to the flight attendant. It's like, hey, give the compliments. Give the pilot my compliments no, please no no <laughs> no me neither yeah yeah i don't do that like either. the chef yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. compliments to the chef yeah give my my compliments to the captain yeah. of this plane dude no. that'd be a cool job being a pilot yeah i feel like no i don't know it would it'd be, be cool but every time i see one i'm like damn like a computer i know you're cool. like i'm like fucking yeah. slave to you dog like <laughs> not, this is badass not even in the military but you're just like thank you for your service <laughs> you actually like, yeah thank you for your <laughs> it is pretty fucking badass it is, a like, computer does his job no, but like a computer does you type on a fucking computer and that's your whole job. I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean it used to be the job you yeah, had. Yeah, used, yeah. used to be. Used to be my job. <laughs> no, no, but I mean like yeah, you no, talking about the compiler does your job. Yeah. You don't do the fucking job. No, I don't job. do shit. Our jobs, our old jobs. Yeah, our yeah. old jobs. But I mean, it's not I mean, what I'm saying is it's not like he's like No, I know, I know. Ten mean. years ago, yeah, when that shit was like yeah. manual, he's like, Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, hell yeah. Does he even do they do shit during takeoff too or no? I think they do some they hit a few switches yeah. and then yeah. but then it's just yeah. autopilot. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yep. Somebody made that shit. Yeah. Autopilot. Yeah. yeah. That's tight. Dude, my friend's stepdad is the guy who flies like the gigantic fucking no way. dreamliners and shit like oh, that, shit. like to Hong Kong and all that shit. Yeah, see. He's logged yeah. like so many You miles. know, I take it back. It is pretty fucking it's not an easy job. It's crazy. You're driving yeah. like a fucking dude. I'd be so stressed. I'd be yeah. like, dude, I get stressed flying on air. Imagine yeah. flying an airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Just sitting on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, sitting in the cockpit and just looking, be like, oh, like fuck, I have to I, fly. This. Like, regardless, like even if you don't, like even if you're on autopilot, you have to back that thing out That's true. of the gate. Yeah, true. Yeah. That thing. Well, a guy in a car does it, but you know, no, you got to do it. No. The yeah. guy like the, the they, taxi dude. The taxi dude hooks up and that's oh, wait, no. the, dude, that's the funniest thing. You're right. Like the tiny car that yeah. drives this huge plane yeah. around. No, yeah. you're right. They back out and then the guy pulls up and, oh, okay. and then taxis them out. I have trouble backing out of a parking space. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funny well, two things. One in a golf cart. <laughs> yeah. I think I stopped being afraid of airplanes because I completely just accepted I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about with an airplane. Yeah. Like you can't really complain. Like I just, you just move it. Like, yeah, it's know, you know. probably just don't. Move. No, it's not that. Like, I don't get stressed out about like crashing. I just get like, I, I know it's going to be fine. It's just, I think it's like, I get claustrophobic or something because yeah. I don't like the window seat either. Cause it's like, I feel like I'm trapped in, yeah. in the window. Yeah. Ooh. I always get aisle. A weird one I had was we took like an early morning flight to Portland or some shit. So it was raining 
And oh, you know, like weird. when you take off yeah. and the water hits the window and it looks like you're going through space. Yeah. yeah. I started getting like fucking motion sickness. Oh shit. But it was like one of those. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom, but like we're fucking tilted. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I thought about it, but I just imagined the lady coming up like, ah, ah, ah back in your chair. Yeah. I'm like, I just have to fucking right into my lap. Fucking whatever. Jesus Christ. I was going nowhere with that. One um, time I wanted to throw up. That was my story. <laughs> No, I mean, hey, we all do it, man. Yeah. Which is, yeah. I mean, that's the moral of this podcast. <laughs> when Bay throws up, you be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, gang, let's wrap it up. It's Should been we? fucking forever. Damn. Wrap this up like a condom. Yes. Oh. We, we use those, right? Yeah. I mean, when I fuck my dragon yeah. Yeah. dildo, I do yeah, it. I would too. You yeah. sheath your sh- your dragon sheath? Yeah. yeah. Treat exactly. it with respect. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to Don't want to get it pregnant. Yeah. You have little <laughs> dragon human hybrids. <laughs> Um, thanks for listening, guys. Follow Spock. It's at Spock Music. Spock, Whoa, Spock. Music. And Spock music. listen to his music on SoundCloud. Um, uh, if you like dubstep. Yeah. Rhythm. Are you rhythm? I'm bordering on the, the rhythm dubstep hybrid. Okay. Yeah. A okay. little bit of rhythm. So if you He's like the fence. If you like uh dubstep rhythm hybrid, follow yeah. him. You know Noel. You know yeah. the shit. Yeah. Contribute to his Patreon. Yeah. Please, Noel Miller, patreon.com slash Noel Miller. He needs it. Yeah. He needs it, man. I'm almost for to my dollar, first goal. For a dollar a day, you can help a, <laughs> a small a Chinese a child? I don't small, know. racially ambiguous boy <laughs> fulfill his dreams of making content. <sighs> Follow the Twitter at insanely underscore chill. Yeah. Give it a rating on iTunes. Yeah. Five yeah, stars. Yeah, Contribute yeah. to my Patreon if yeah, you want. Yeah. 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 And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. December 15th. Later. December 15th. Peace. Peace. Peace.